Hi everyone, it's me, Gaming Dew, and today we're gonna do our movie review of Cars 3. Because if you didn't know, okay, I admit it, I did not see Cars 3 in the theaters. I instead streamed it on this website called Kiss Cartoon. And yeah. Um. Actually, I kind of regret doing that because Cars 3 is actually the first Cars movie that I consider Pixar good. Now remember, this is with spoilers and a shout out to the Lost Sonic Man 7. This will contain spoilers and please do not watch this video if you haven't seen the movie yet. If you don't care about spoilers, then that's okay. But if you do care about spoilers, please do not watch this. And don't blame me for me spoiling it, because I warned you not to watch this. So, once again, please, if you haven't seen it, don't watch this review. If you don't care, then you can, but... There's some major spoilers for Cars 3, okay? So, like I said... Actually, no. I consider the first Cars, Cars good. But Cars 2 is absolute trash, in my opinion. I didn't like it at all. I'm sorry, but I just really didn't like Cars 2. But Cars 3 comes back to being a good movie, I thought. Now, is this among Pixar's best? This may literally be probably in my top 10 Pixar films. I'm not even kidding. I did really like this film. I did. It was really good. So don't judge me for crying out loud. I don't care if you're a Cars hater. I like the third Cars movie. It was pretty good. It was actually really good, as a matter of a fact. They toned down the amount of Mater, which... I like Mater, I admit it. But... He was used way too much in Cars 2. And he got annoying at times. But Cars 3 is a big improvement on pretty much everything from Cars 2. A lot more McQueen, and he's the main character, you can tell, and yeah. So, four characters, Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, Doc Hudson, and of course, of course, Jackson Storm. So we're gonna start with Lightning McQueen, His days are basically over, because I, at the end of the movie, he basically gives up the number 95, and, spoiler alert, he gets the design that Doc Hudson had on him now, while Cruz Ramirez goes to Dinoco, which pretty much means which pretty much means that yeah Cruz Ramirez is they basically go to Donico and Lightning's now her mentor speaking of which Cruz Ramirez she's pretty good Training McQueen, trying to train McQueen in the beginning of the movie, but then it switches at the end. Uh, him trying to train her to go into the race because at the beginning of the race, uh, the ending race, McQueen's in there, but then at the end of the race, Cruz Ramirez goes in there and it's good. Then we have Doc Hudson, which he's sad that he's gone he looks up to him now 
Like I said, Lightning McQueen at the end of the movie gets the design of Doc Hudson on him and he sort of becomes Cruz's mentor. And last but not least, Jackson Storm. Uh, if I'm telling the truth, I like Chick Hicks a lot more. I like Chick Hicks a lot more. This is, this is the biggest problem with the movie. I didn't really like the villain. I didn't really like Jackson Storm that much. I thought he was just a big, sort of, upgraded version of Chick Hicks, really. And Chick Hicks is actually in this movie. And... He's still better than Professor Z. Absolutely better than Professor Z, but I still like Chick Hicks more than him. And I don't care what you say. I didn't really like Jackson Storm that much. So what is this round up to for a rating? I like Cars 3. It was a big improvement over Cars 2. And maybe even better than the original. But, is this among, like, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Monsters, I think, Finding Nemo, and The Incredibles, and Wally and stuff like that? I would say no. Because those movies are freaking masterpieces. This is just a good movie, but... Overall, I thought long and hard, and I'm going to give Cars 2... Or not Cars 2. Cars 3 a B+. Plus. Yep, a B plus. It just rounds out to about that rating, and yeah. I hope you like this review. I think the next movie review will be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And that should probably be the last movie review before I go to Canada. And yeah. Hope you like it. I'll probably... As I'm planning to do like three videos while I'm up there, I'm planning to do a movie review because for the first time since The Secret Life of Pets, yes, I did not go and see Suicide Squad in theaters, I streamed that too. I am actually going to go to the movie theaters to go see Spider Man Homecoming. I missed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, unfortunately, but I'm going to stream that in a couple days and give you my review on that. But while I'm up in Canada, I think I'm going to go see Spider-Man Homecoming in theaters, and I'm really excited to get that review up to you, and I'll give you what I got with like my birthday money I got and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. Hope you like the review. Gaming Do here. See you later. Bye.